Free delay. We uh, <laughs> apologize for the delay in departure. Uh, we will be getting airborne real. <laughs> <laughs> There is uh, extra traffic in uh, the Long Island area today. <laughs> <laughs> Cabin crew, take the seats now, please. <laughs> Look into the Romeo. Serious manager, right, runway one, line up away traffic. Uh, one mile final, be ready. Line up away, runway one, traffic inside. Uh, enjoy, enjoy. All right, booster left, mixture, alpha flaps alpha. and lights are on. Alpha, Ready to go flying? Oh yeah. Let's do this. Line up and wait, runway one. Use every single available inch of this thing. Line up on the runway. Zero one zero on the heading. Zero one zero on the compass. Zero three zero nine. Runway one clear for takeoff. Two to go off runway one. Cover the wind. Nine two two. Seven three up up. Runway one clear to land. One zero three zero one zero. Two. Three, four, five. Full power set. No speeds alive. Engines all in the green. Cherokee three one Romeo, follow the Cherokee. Airspeed's coming up. Sixty knots. Sixty five. Seventy. Seventy five. Rotate. Off we go. Seven degrees nose up. November two one nine or seven Mike Republic. How you doing? All right. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Good man. Above eighty five knots. The flaps come up. November ninth of the Mike. You all right? Yeah. All right. Cool. Top of aircraft. Oh, there's the city. Yeah, man. There she is. Oh, you're gonna get busy now with your traffic controllers. How is it like landing? They usually give you priority. Yeah, you, you see how they kept us on the ground there while all those guys were coming in? Yeah, they don't. They get guys on the ground first before they let up more people up there. Cessna 3 Alpha, Alpha, turn left on Bravo 3, ground point 6. Left on Bravo 3, over to ground 5 3 Alpha, Alpha, thank you. And Cub 97 Mike, the wind 02011. Flaps up, caps now available. Uh, give me a handoff. Cherokee, 7 Alpha Charlie, wind 0309, runway 1, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 727 Alpha Charlie, and I'd like to have departure to the southeast. Cherokee, 7 Alpha Charlie, southeast, approved. Thank you, sir. Public Tower, Katana 4110, Romeo, short 1 at Bravo, ready to go. What's that? Is that Stanford? What's the that's Connecticut, yeah. Four one one zero Romeo, read public tower. Up in Cherokee, the southeast departure. Northeast approved. Wind zero two zero at one zero. Runway one clear for takeoff. Runway one clear for takeoff. Four one zero Romeo. Serious nine Julie Jill, contact departure. Have a good flight. Oh, departure nine Julie Jill. We'll see ya. Now wait to hear this guy. Twenty five seven. There you go. Approach. Good morning, Cirrus two six nine Julie Jill. Which one point five? Climate three thousand. Other Republic one. Uh, 269 Juliet, Juliet departure, good morning, out of contact, climb 8 at 7000, one able to act Bridgeport. Track Bridgeport up to 7009, Juliet, Juliet. So he cleared us direct to Bridgeport and go up to 7000, so you know what I'm going to do? I've got the autopilot doing some work here. Autopilot on, to heading mode, field, and we're at 800 right feet a minute. Thank you. Perfect. Now he told us to go direct to Bridgeport, clear, so we can go like this. We see the company at our one o'clock. So we go to BDR, right, direct to, enter, enter, and then we go to navigation. And the autopilot takes us to Bridgeport. You all right? Yeah. Good man. This is awesome. You think? I mean, it's a little scary, but... Pretty All right, cool. you're not going to fall out. Your door is locked. Your seatbelt is on. 19-1, 180 on speed, JetBlue 2024. JetBlue 1206, company traffic you're following is slowing down to 180 max now. That's the Northport Stacks. That's a big power station. That's a reporting point for us when we come back into land. We have to call when we're over that, let them know where we're at in altitude and stuff.
So we're climbing at 2,500 feet, we're climbing at 500 feet a minute, and we're going up to 7,000. Gotcha. And look, I'm not doing a goddamn thing here. <laughs> Man, you get to see everything. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Today is a nice day, though. See how smooth it is? There's Scotty's. Yeah, they're way back there. Way back there. JetBlue 1206, contact tower, 119.1, we'll see you, JetBlue 1206. That's us there. I guess 2407 is next. I'm used to these guys out here. Like, I, know what, I know what frequency he's going to give me next, so I'm going to put it in. Zero seven. Are you okay? Good. So what do you you put like the next frequency? Next frequency. I know I've been flying out here. I know yeah. I've, on this route. I know I'm talking to this guy now on one two five seven. Then, then he's going to switch me over to another guy that controls more airspace gotcha. on this frequency. So you're always in someone's airspace. Yeah. These when you're in the system, like I put the flight plan into the air traffic control system. The air traffic controllers are basically taking you by the hand. Zero two six nine Here. Juliet Juliet contact camp approach one two four point zero seven. Good day. Over to approach twenty four seven. We'll see you at nine Juliet Juliet. So now we just flip this guy over, switch the frequencies, and I'm okay. just going to call him, tell him I'm climbing out at three thousand six hundred for seven thousand. Approach good morning zero two six nine Juliet Juliet three point six for seven thousand direct bridge forward. Two six nine Juliet Juliet approach hold on altimeter three zero two four. Two four nine or two two. Yeah. So when you're uh, when you're working in the air traffic control system like we are this morning, basically the the controllers are watching us on a screen, and they're taking us through their airspace, avoiding everyone else, and then they're handing us to the next guy and the next guy and the next guy. Like the first. The first guy we spoke to this morning was the weather. Then we spoke to the guy to give us our clearance. Then he told us the ground controller took us to the to the runway. Then we spoke to the tower. Now we're talking to these guys. They're going to tell us. They're going to take us to Hyannis. Then when we get descending down, the approach seconds. controller is going to hand us off to Hyannis Tower, and then the tower is going to give us the ground and take us to the. How far is their like range? On this? Yeah, like. Oh, this. their range. I don't know how many miles they cover. Um, we get over here on the other side now. He'll give us to uh, Bradley approach over in Windsor Locks in Connecticut. That's another air traffic controller. Then he'll hand us to Providence. Then Providence will probably take us all the way. Approach, uh, another niner three pop -pop -pop, back with you. It's went to you always on the box for it. Always listening in, yeah. Like all right. Climb checklist. Climb flower set. Flaps are up. <sighs> Mixture is good. Inch parameters all in the green. Boost pump is on in the climb. Deck is complete. Number 488, Bravo Alpha, near See, so we have a tailwind this morning, so that's helping us along the way. We have a 13 knot tailwind, so, gotcha. and our destination, we're one hour and 17 minutes from Hyannis, it's 158 miles. And when we land, we're going to have 29 gallons of fuel. Pretty cool. Yeah. That's why I always, when I fly, I always have the tanks up to the top because you never know. Like you might get to an airport thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to land in Hyannis, but who knows? Some guy might have landed ahead of us. And boom, burst the tire. Now he's stuck on the runway, and now nobody can land. So everybody's got to circle around. So that's why I always fly with the tanks full. Gotcha. Wow, it's pretty nice over the sound. Yeah. Now, when we get leveled off now, it'll, the, the airspeed will increase a lot. I mean, we're, we're traveling now at 124 knots over the ground, so we're doing about, uh, let me see, 20, 15% onto that. Let me see what we're doing actually now. I mean, it's better when you're, when you're cruising, you can, you can calculate it better. So 124, 24 plus 15%. 
So we're doing 143 miles an hour right now. Uh, maintain 3000, expect further clearance at 130 time, 1302. 302, thank you. Holding at uh, 7000. Air departure, you want to go to 81, 4500, climbing 17.5 via 4, now take it. 81, you first, open up to the 3024. 24. A few wispy clouds around this morning. Not that crazy though, I thought it would be a bit clearer than this. So like how far out can we see? That's uh like is that's the twi that's the north fork I was gonna say, shooting is, all the way over there. Is that river like that water? That's riverhead that's right there, yeah. That's where they, they split up, yeah. That's wow. probably um, you know, see the beach, the long that's like east out in East Hampton and out there. Good morning, New York, clear seven one one Sierra Echo checking on with you uh, two point three for three thousand. Yeah, you can see the city, you can see over here into upstate a little bit up up the Hudson River. Oh yeah. This is like I don't know, what's the Stanford over here? I or, think or it's Norwalk Stanford, or somewhere? Yeah. Here, yeah. Pretty cool. I mean, it's a it's a little hazy this morning, but usually, you know, you can you can get like 20 mile visibility. It's not and you don't have any problems. New York 711 Sierra Echo checking on with you. 2.7 for 3,000. So there's a guy now 2,700 feet below us. There's another guy here 1,400 feet below us, but he's probably going into White Plains. Traffic, Over here, White Plains Airport. You, know? you ever go to Teterboro? No, that's too. That's out of my league, that place. <laughs> Why, it's, it's, too too it's, it's crazy busy. My buddy went in there a couple of times, and like that, sitting on the ground waiting to take off. It's crazy, and it's all jets in there. Plus, you got Newark Airport is like right down the way, and you got all the arrivals. It's a lot of, a lot of thinking. You gotta have your, you gotta have your game plan. You know. So usually though, when you land, you're not there for too long, right? Just nah. sometimes you'll fuel up, I'll top up, uh, top up the tanks, and then jump back in and get back again. You know? Sometimes you'll go get something to eat. Or yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a there's a restaurant I go to over here in, in Oxford, Connecticut. Uh, over here somewhere in Oxford. It's a, it's a quick it's a quick 50, 50 miles or so. It's a, like a half an hour flight time. There's a restaurant right at the airport. You park the plane outside and you just walk in the little sidewalk. There's a restaurant right there. It's cool. Not too many boats out this morning. No, I'm shocked. It's a beautiful I know, yeah, day. It's, it's calm. I was out last Sunday, man. The white yeah, caps are unbelievable. I saw it, man. It was super windy last weekend. So you're gonna hear a you're gonna hear a chime in your ear now. Sure. You hear that chime? That's alerting me that I'm 200 feet from my assigned altitude. So when it levels off, you'll see the airspeed increase, and then I'll adjust the power back to cruise power 75 percent. Gotcha. Now is it an autopilot it's right now? It's on autopilot right but now. But that yeah. just does the. Just pitch is over. See, it's it's coming back down. It's not climbing so anymore. To, uh, west so it's leveling off at 7,000 feet now. Then direct. Altitude is captured 000. at 7,000. And now the airspeed starts to come up. As we're level now. So now I just bring the power back to 75% power. And then I'll, I'll adjust the fuel mixture. Hello. A little bumpy in these clouds, but nothing to worry about. Deer park at 1,500. So this adjusts the fuel and air mixture into the engine. It gives us more efficiency. So what we're looking for here is one of these are the four cylinders in the engine. You're going to see a number here when one of them peaks. So I'm going to adjust the fuel going into the engine right now. And when it peaks, we just add in until this says uh, minus 75 degrees. And it's, it's just that much more fuel going into the engine. Not a lot, but it's more efficient. Hey, Bravo, I was looking. Bravo, Alpha, additional traffic at 6,500. Basically, see this little triangle here? This is our fuel flow right now. This is what we're burning per hour, gallons per hour. So 
I'm gonna adjust this back almost to that triangle, okay, almost to that marker right there, and then Number I'll be able here, to, uh, will be, will be nice and efficient, Three, two, fast. Zero, first year, echo. New York morning, so it peak eight, somewhere four, here now. Back back request. Usually around 12 gallons an hour it peaks. Let that catch up. First taken. Hey, good morning, that's Saratoga, 845, man, get back with a request. So do you know what time we actually took off? 840 eight something. A little bit later than I wanted to, to but I was not really cool with five that. We're five miles west of the Bridgeport VOR, 2100, climbing 6.5. Going to University Park, request advisory. University Park? Copy that identifier. Uh, uniform November 6th, or back. Okay, that back in, there it is. We're looking Five for 75 degrees now. Let contact. that catch up. 43, 73, 55, 60. There it is, 71, 3, 4, 5. Boom, there it is. So now we're burning 13 gallons per hour. And our rear speed. Our true airspeed is 140. Now we're cruising at 150 knots over the ground. Now we have a 28 knot wind blowing us from the side. So when we turn towards Hyannis, we're going to make a lot of time up with the tailwind. So what did it take? Like 10 minutes across the sound? In yeah, roughly, yeah. But you're climbing, yeah. Right? I was climbing all the time. So I heard the one guy say University Park. Yeah, he's going to he's going to Penn State, right? There's football games yeah. today. <laughs> There's an airport right there. There is. Yeah. It's probably some rich guy with oh, season sure. tickets. Oh, sure, his kid goes there or something. Going to tailgate, he's going to get all loaded up, and then he'll fly right, have Why not, his man? guy fly Why? him right back. Why would you want to drive doing this? Look. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's, um, what is it? On um, Route 80. So it's all the way out there. It's a dead but center of PA. So, it's a long hike. New Jersey, once you cross New Five Jersey, back, contact New York approach one two zero point eight. It's uh, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. one like 150 miles. Yeah. Once this in PA. Carmel, so then Manifest. figure another Direct 50 Carmel. in Jersey Direct to Carmel. get. Direct so 200 miles. How long does that take to fly 200 miles? 200 miles. Well, we're doing 156 Zero, miles an hour right now. So 200 is just over an hour. But our, 100, we have 140 miles to go. We're going to be there 53 minutes, less than an hour. So 157 knots right now. Let's see what that is in, in regular in regular road miles an hour. So we're doing 180 right, miles an hour right now. Pretty fast. Yeah. And you can see 95 right down behind us there. Echo, contact New York approach 120.8. That is 95. Yeah. Oh, there's hardly any traffic. I'm going to take a picture of the traffic going into Cape Cod. Yeah, sure. Man. Pretty cool way of getting around, though, I must say. Yeah, good morning, New This is awesome. Kevin, right? eight, eight, this is cool right. flying, yeah. But Kevin, three, eight, it's not too cold, is it? Nah, no, I'm good. All right. Yeah, Kevin, like, it got a little bumpy. Yeah, but it's, 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 it's you're strapped in. The plane's not going anywhere unless there's, you know, Kevin, and, and that's why before I take off, I do like a weather briefing, and I look at the charts and see if there's any crazy turbulence along the way. And they usually, the, the website, like this four flight app here, this is great. This is weather. This is everything on it that you need to know. And it updates all the weather along the way. And you can see what's, you know, what's ahead of you. It'll alert you if there's, if there's uh, you know, if there's a crazy temperature drop, it usually means that there's a lot of turbulence. So you just avoid that. You go to a different altitude to avoid it. It's all planning, you know? If you do the pre-flight planning on the ground, the flight should be just one, two, three. Left turn, so direct it was a little bumpy. Yeah. It's not like bumpy when it's like, not bad. Ah, this is, this is fast today. A couple of bumps going through these little wispy okay, clouds. Okay, Juliet, Juliet, contact, rally approach, 123.95. Order approach on 23.95 for 9, Juliet, Juliet. Good morning. All right, let's get this guy up here. 23.95. Enter, call them up. Press, Alpha, 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 Alpha,
Approach good morning, sir. It's 26902 at level 7000. Two six nine two two. Round we go. And we're on our way to Hartford. Or we're on our way to Providence right now. Break off, Victor. What uh, area is your air work? So it's telling us we're between Hartford uh, and Providence, we'll be going 50 on, miles, uh, and we'll be there in 17 minutes. Of a line, and the line rounds about, uh, now we're clipping. Look, now we're doing 174 we'll knots. Let's see what air. What's? Let's Break see how many direction. miles an hour that is. 15 uh, percent of that. Roger. So we're doing 200 miles an hour right now. Nice. That so maintained 3,000. Pretty cool. That whenever it helps, during 550. During 550, Roger, clearance in a few miles. We're going to be above the clouds, so. This is pretty cool. It sucks down and didn't come. United 849, Bradley approach, Bell Simmers 3022, Space Visual Approach, runway 24. 3022, we'll expect 24, United 849. That's pretty cool. Net 849, fighting 360, but just on approach course. You know what? I need to get some work done while I'm sitting here doing nothing. 360, down to 10,000, net 849. Spirit wings 550, clear visual approach, runway 33. Clear for the visual 33, spirit wings 550. United 849, just going to maintain 7,000. 93.8. Down to 7,000, 849. Sirius Niner, Julia Jeweler, traffic 11 o'clock, 3 miles south eastbound, primary target only. Look at Niner Jeweler. Yeah, there's another, uh, this guy is, uh, he's 4,000 feet below us. This guy's 6,500. Niner, Julia Jeweler, contact Providence Approach 123.67. Over to approach on 123.67 for 902. Good morning. All right. Baby report. Zero radar contact. 3002, jump with it. Five ten zero three, turn left, hitting that is 300. Maintain VFR, Gulf Cap respect for food and jumper shoots. Right. Turn left, hitting 300. Maintain VFR. And, uh, two seven five seconds. 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 Two six nine, usually upon search myself, give me a three zero two zero. Two zero nine, Joe, Joe. Number five, correction number nine five five five, Lima contact box, search one one eight point two. Over the bump approach on one one eight point two. Yeah, the bump going through the cloud. Nothing to worry about. So did they give you the 7,000 uh, Seven. altitude? Yeah, altitude. Because yeah. you're above the clouds, or uh, just that, based that's on everybody it's else? When you're flying east, you have to fly at an odd, odd thousands of feet. When you're flying west, you fly at even thousands of feet. So therefore, there's a thousand feet separation. So what if we were, you know, like flying through all these clouds? Would it be pretty bumpy? Difficult? Yeah, it should be bumpy enough. Yeah, I mean, not crazy, crazy bumpy, but you know, you get an odd. But you got to go strictly on your instruments. Yeah. Up here, I mean, what else can I see? I can't see where I'm going. I can't see Providence, Rhode Island, or anything underneath us. <laughs> this is what I'm going off here.
See? Yeah, once you're buckled up nice and tight, I mean, it's fine. I wouldn't go near a big thunder cloud with this plane, no. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, these clouds are thin, you can see right down through them. It's just this layer right here. Big white wall of fog. That's kind of cool. Yeah, is it? I'm sure your first time going through that. Yeah, yeah this kind of, what the hell is this? It is cool though. Yeah. I mean, it's all in your mind, too. You know, if you trust your instruments in front of you. Yeah. The plane doesn't know what it's going through. It doesn't know there's a cloud out there. Yeah, it's true. It's just flying in a straight. It's going along this line right here. We're the only ones that know what's happening here. Yeah. And my instructor has gone hundreds of miles. They're clouds, locked in. Yeah. Not a thing outside. Yeah, so we're 25 minutes from landing. <laughs> you wouldn't, you wouldn't even be in the George Washington Bridge by now, bro. <laughs> Getting some real-time IFR flying into there, too. That's cool. Yeah, you see now you can see the coastline off there in the distance. Yeah. This is just that marine layer. All around here it's always, you know... Uh, Cloudy, coming yeah, off the water. Coming off the water too. I mean, Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket is known for that. Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket out there is known for fog, you know? No matter, like it could be as clear as day. That's us. And approach was uh, that last call for uh, 269 Julia, Julia. 269 Julia, Julia, problem approach, say again. Uh, was that a call for us to contact approach on 1945? Number 9, Julia, Julia, negative. Okay. Yeah, see, there you go. So we should be, so Providence, Rhode Island is dire directly ahead of us here. Sierra, and we'll see if I can pick up the weather over at uh, Ionis. I might pick it up because we're far away yet. 70 miles now, we're way out yet. We have a bit to go with 70 miles to go. 535 Sierra, have your request standby. There's traffic, 1 o'clock, 4 miles southeast now. Fuel pump on. Fuel pressure is good. Switch to the right tank. Fuel pressure is still good. Boost pump off. That's the procedure to change the fuel tanks. Providence and it always sends a message up here. You know, sw switch tanks, because it, it balances the plane up. Therefore, it keeps the autopilot from really having to work that hard. That's, I think that's Block Island. See the island off there in the ocean? Yeah. That's Block Island over there. Oh, yeah? It should be, yeah. There it is. is that like Newport or? Newport, Rhode Island is right down here somewhere. Yeah, Newport's over here. We'll fly kind of, you'll see it when we pass by. 
again, frequency 40 Romeo. 40 Romeo, frequency 127.9. 127.9, 4 Romeo. One jump five, one minute. One jump five, Roger. Parachute jumping going on somewhere. Really? Yeah, you hear jumpers away, you'll hear them say jumpers away in five minutes or whatever. What elevation do they go at? Oh, that could be a way up. That could be at 15,000, that could be at 10,000, who knows. What are the odds they hit a plane? Oh. <laughs> 13,000. So they're jumping at, at some... Uh, I forget what the airport he said, but he said one three thousand in the next ten minutes. There's two six nine or Juliet Juliet contact Boston approach on one one eight point two. Over to Boston on one one eight point two for nine Juliet. Good morning. Already. Number four two four three Juliet. Contact Bradley approach on one one nine point zero. We talk to the Boston guys. Boston Approach, good morning, Cirrus 269, Juliet, Juliet, level 7000. 269, Juliet, Juliet, Boston Approach, Roger, Zion, Information, Quebec, Quebec Visual 33. Cover that, we'll pick up Quebec and expect uh, the visual at 339, Juliet, Juliet. Uh, information, Quebec, weather at 1256 Zulu, wind 330 at 4, visibility 10, approach 2, Delta is with you at 3,000. Uh, we have a traffic ahead of us, traffic ahead of us, traffic ahead of us, Runway 33 in use. Expect visual approach. Runway 33. Nice. Bird activity in the vicinity of the airport. Advise on initial contact. You have information for Quebec. Hyannis Tower, information for Quebec. Weather. 1256 Zulu, wind 330 at 4, visibility 10, fuel clouds at 6000, temperature 23, dew point 13, altimeter 3016, runway 33 in use. 316, land on runway 33. Runway 33. 3016. In the vicinity of the airport. Advise on initial contact. You have information in Quebec. Quebec, we got it. All right, weather we have, instruments 3016, 3016, radios, we're talking to approach, we're probably going to get tower next, and the tower frequency is 19.5, we'll pop that in here, 5.0, have that ready to go in the standby, 19.5, and it's the visual to 3.3, so we'll punch in the visual approach to 3.3, select Juliet. go ahead sir, 2.6.9 Juliet, Juliet, then maintain 5,000. Down to 5,000, 9, Joe, Joe. Let's get down to 5,000. Vertical speed, 500 feet a minute. It's back off the power. And that's center, flight jet 526. Uh, do you show traffic in front of us? Uh, flight jet 526, affirmative. It's at your 11 to 10 o'clock. Coming on five miles following the Loading the visual to 3 3. That's why I put you behind it. Enter. Okay, back sounds good. And, uh, we don't have the traffic in front of us at the airport site. Flexi 526, Roger, I'll keep you on this heading. I'll clear All you in right. a few miles once I can guarantee you you're, you're clear of them, but he's on. He's continuing for another six miles eastbound. Coming on, Doc. We're 9518 Delta traffic, 12 o'clock, four miles, neighboring 3,500 indicated. Please check this. Flexi 526, you're painting that traffic at yeah, 10 o'clock. Set checklist, altimeter set 3016, 3016, cabin required, landing lights coming on, fuels on the right tank, right tank is good, we'll switch to the left tank, switch that to the left, mixture is slowly coming rich, a little bit of more fuel going in there, and brake pressure is good, descent checklist complete, before landing checklist to go. Twenty miles, twenty nine miles to run now. Yeah, we got a little bit to go here. We'll cross over this Number water. Six nine or Julie, Julie, turn right heading one two zero vector for the visual approach runway three three. One two zero on the heading vector to visual, visual approach runway one three three nine Julie. Julie. So we put somebody in front of Number us. Number one eight Delta traffic, uh, previously called traffic two o'clock. 
So now I'm in, I'm in heading mode. You see, he's telling me what heading to fly on. So now I have to fly whatever heading. He told me to fly heading in 120 degrees, so I've switched it into heading mode. So now I can change the heading whichever way I want to go. Before we were GPS steering, now we're in, uh, in heading mode. There's the cape out there. I guess that's the two-lane road you're telling me about, is it? There's the two bridges, I think. Coming on down. So there's the Cape Cod Air Station, the, the Naval Air Station right here. Charlie is starting to use descent to one to zero. Four five eight Charlie, Roger, contact Vineyard Tower one to one point four. One to one point four. A good day. Five eight Charlie. Number nine, Julie. Julie, descend, maintain three thousand. Down to three thousand nine, Julie. Julie. Coming on down. All right. Might as well do the before landing checklist now. Seatbelt secure, all good. Boost pump is on. Mixture's coming rich. Coming on down. Add a little more fuel in there on the way down. Flaps and autopilot to go. Before landing checklist complete. There we are, there's the cape. There you go, buddy. Got to get to taking some flying lessons, man. You got to get out here a little quicker. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> see Hyannis off there? See the airport? I see. You see I the see. lake over here? Oh, see this yeah. This airport in front of us? Yeah, There's yeah, two yeah. big lakes. They go off of the, there's uh, another clear delta patch in all the trees. Yeah. That's it. 518 Delta, affirmative traffic, no factor now. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this comes out on the video. This thing's still recording. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, a lot of two-lane roads out here. Coming down to 3,000. That's okay, we're on the visual anyway. Flaxen approach, 816 Alpha Romeo, uh, 7,000, direct channel. 16 Alpha Romeo Boss approach, found myself to Mirror 3019 arrives with the Chatham Weather and Notams and approach request. Uh, I think we can do the visual and I have the weather at Chatham 6 Alpha Romeo. 6 Alpha Romeo, Roger, you can expect that. Roger. And approach 94 Fox Road, we care to fight following and contact the tower, just to let them know where we're going. Number 54 Fox Road, Roger, remain in your code, contact venue tower 121.4. There's Marcus Vineyard over there. Six Victor Hotel, turn right what? heading of uh, one four zero seven eight five thousand. Yeah, this is Nantucket. Yeah. Yeah. That's Nantucket over there. There's the vineyard right there. More Boston uh, Skyhawk seven three four X-ray Lima. Point Boston Exec Jet two eleven six thousand six hundred descending five thousand. Exec Jet two eleven Boston approach Roger. Four nine or Julie Julie descend maintain two thousand. Down at 2009, RGO, let's do it. And aircraft looking for flight following, say again? Yes, that's the 732. 2000 selected, 2000 received. 3000 feet, 5 east of Hyena. So I'd like to get advisories while we do some air work on the other cape. Airport in sight. Number 734, actually. Phone service down here. Your phone signal. Oh, there you go. Uh, that's 210, exactly. 211. 269 Julie Juliet, report field in sight, 11 o'clock, 7 mile, uh, correction, 10 mile. That's sight, 9 Julie Juliet. 269 Julie Juliet, clear visual approach on way 33, maintain one, uh, 140 knots or greater. You see that, that harbor okay, in there? Okay, clear the visual of 33, I'm at 10, 140 or greater, 9 Julie Juliet. 734 X-ray Lima, radar contact, 6 miles east of the Hyannis Airport, right. open the 3,000. Found with altimeter is 301. for the visual. Okay. 3,000 X-ray Lima. 140 knots. Boston approach, CARE uh, 605. Bring it in closer here. Uh, CARE 635. Uh, negative 605. CARE 605, go ahead. Uh, just off of Hyannis uh, 2000, heading to Nantucket. We got x ray there, like like always. Uh, 
out of 2000. Here, 605, squawk 5144. 269, Julie, Julie, contact INS Tower 100.5. Over to Tower 19, fight. Appreciate it. 9, Julie, Julie, see you. Thank you, see you. Level at two. Hi, Alice Tower, good morning, sir. It's 269 Jude. It's on a uh, wide left base for 3 3. 269 Julia Julia, Highness Tower, runway 3 3, York, Little End. Little End 3 3, Niner Julia Julia. All right, I'm going to hand flay it in from here. Autopilot is disengaged. We have it. Let's see where I'm at here. It's 3 3. Gas on the right tank, mixture fully rich. Undercarriage, mixture props, and all switches. Start slowing ourselves down here. Five miles out. To the airport there? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Altitude. Yep. I'm leading off that airspeed. There's runway 33, three. okay. Twenty first notch of flaps, one thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Forty percent of the power, looking good. Altitude. Yep. I don't know how to do it here. A thousand feet. Care 100, on his ground. Care 100, taxi to the gate. That's looking good. Nobody's coming. The big house is out here. Altitude. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Good man. Trying to see what I know. <laughs> <laughs> Took a lot of pictures. I don't know when I'm going to get you back out here again. <laughs> I don't know when I'll be able to. 500. Checks. Runway 33, that's 33, we're clear to land. Hi, Anna Tower, good morning. Exec Jet 211 on the visual for 33. Exec Jet 211, Anna Tower, runway 33, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 33, Exec Jet 211.
20% the power, bringing us on down. Beautiful. There we go. Rough. Fair Delta. Follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> Welcome to Hyannis, my man. I'm Julie, Julie. I guess you're going the north ramp, Delta to the north ramp. Going over here to uh, Red Tricks Aviation. Red Tricks, Red Tricks. Red Tricks, thanks. I'm Julie, Julie. Alrighty, after landing checklist, flaps up, boost pop off, land the light off, transponders on standby, gonna retrix. Presume this is the straight in here. We'll drop you off at retrix, is that okay? That's fine. Look at the jets out here. There's the line guy waiting for me. Nice. <laughs> Over for time. Ten o'clock on the dot, man. How's that? I How's that for service? <laughs> huh? This is unbelievable. Who do you want on your job again? <laughs> That's where, right. Let's see where this guy's gonna put me. Out of sound, Retrix 868, 12 and a half miles to the south with information Romeo. Retrix 868 on his tower, runway 33, clear to land. Runway 33, clear to land, Retrix 868. 